Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Prices are a little bit higher this morning. Got a little bit of follow through from Friday's USDA report. Uh, initially, the numbers came out, uh, the market kind of looked at them rather ho hum, but uh, in the corn especially, the USDA did something that they normally do not do. They raised domestic feed usage of corn before a big stocks report that comes on March 28th. Uh, the market took that as bullish, saying that maybe either A, they know the numbers, or B, they see something in the animal numbers, especially on the poultry side, that suggests that feed usage might be higher. Uh, this is a little bit of contrary to all the talk, especially in the southeast, about all the wheat that's being fed and being displaced, uh, some of the corn feeding. Anyway, we're back over $7 in the nearby uh, corn market and uh, old crop spread they're gaining on, on new and uh, we'll see if that continues into the report. On the bean side, uh, they didn't really change South American soybean production or drop it as much as the market had anticipated. Initially that was negative to the marketplace. But we came back on the fact that we still are seeing some logistical problems uh, in exporting beans out of Brazil on a timely basis and that has caused uh, some of the buyers to shift some of their bean cargoes to the United States at a time when stocks are going to be record low and record tight. Uh, that'll probably help the basis and uh, the bean spreads even more than they already have. Uh, we'll be watching pretty closely some of the crush data and see uh, just how, what our crush rate was in the month of February, but it could have been record high for that month. And again, it might be the function of the market to move prices higher to slow that crush rate down. We just don't have enough beans. On the wheat side, uh, they raise world wheat production and stocks. They raise the U.S. Uh, wheat carryout because of lower exports, and that's going to offer some resistance to the wheat market, unless down the road there's a weather problem. As far as weather goes, there doesn't seem to be any problems. We're getting moisture in the Midwest for the 2013 crops. Down in South America, they're, they're moving the harvest along. It just, you know, how fast can they export now is, is more of an important question than how big their crops are. Outside markets, dollars a little higher. Most commodities a little lower. Over the weekend, some of the Chinese economic data was not uh, as strong as some people hoped, and that, that's causing a little bit of selling in commodities. We also saw a report that um, commodities, uh, the, the index funds have taken out a very large amount of long positions in, in all the commodities over the last uh, a few months and now we're down to some of the lowest levels that we've seen maybe in a year or a year and a half, um, moving that money into the equity side of things. So we're a little bit better. Uh, we should trend a little bit higher into the end of the month and that key USDA report and uh, we'll be watching some of the cash basis levels and some of the technical signals to see just how high is high. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.